have a person in the professor's chair for five minutes at a time versus first. We have many people here. If, if I go for five minutes, I don't know. If, if you can go for five minutes. I don't know if I can go for five but, minutes. Really? Yes. So, it's just a quickie. I, 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 I know a lot of guys. It depends on how far back <laughs> in time I decide to go and bring things and they just If you're involving quickies, I need 12 because I'm so lasting at least an hour. Yeah. If they're only yeah. lasting five minutes. Uh, after we did the video, video, did we watch you know, the video? Or? The kid is I think it was ready for watch it when you're sober so you can record it. So, soon. We are going to start with Miss Marissa. It is her 25th birthday. Happy birthday. 25 and holding. No. <laughs> it's her 40th birthday in fact. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I, mean, I am not 20. the type of person who... 40s to 39. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Anybody? So, we are going to listen to a history... Oh, that goes with it. ...story from Lisa Yeah, I think, I think we will. Hi. Okay. No, he's grabbing. So. So, uh, how are you all doing? Um... Well, and Drunk. it occurs to me that if you probably don't want to record in that way because the up and down is not going to look yeah. good on the TV, so you probably want to record it. It's going to be turning her there sideways. We there we go. Okay, so that's going to be some fun editing. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I'll admit I'm feeling a little nervous about this. I would like to talk about the Battle of Kadesh, which was a um, a type area that was on the River Orontes, which is in the Syrian-Palestinian um, line era. Now, you got to go back in time a little bit, because in order to understand why this was such a big, important battle... Um, if anybody wants to act it out, you're allowed. Yeah, if you want to act out anything that I say, you are welcome to. Okay, so, pretty much everyone has heard of Tutankhamun. Yes. yes. Yeah, I, I've heard of two. Okay. Yeah. So, so I heard of that boy. He's not too uh, rare. No, no, no. <laughs> the bad one ain't just all the time. He's not near a boat. He's not too rare, so we've all heard of him. Too common. Too common. Less to know, brother. Too rare. So, anyway, like. His his ancestors, like Tutmosis III and stuff like that, they had, um, Tutmosis especially, had gone out on these great campaigns and had taken um, these era areas and been like, you need to send us tribute every year. And you're just like, okay, we will. But then the Egyptians, <laughs> because they didn't want to die out of their land, would go back home. So they never actually settled outside of Egypt. That was a, That's a little fun fact for you. Um, so anyway, uh, they, they went back, it went back and forth where they, you know, Egypt would lose Kadesh and then Egypt would gain Kadesh. And it was an important, important area. So it was something that a lot of people wanted to have access to. And so, um, when Tutankhamun's, uh, died, his, um, his widow, Anaxanamun, which might sound familiar because they used it in the mummy movies. Right. Yes. Uh, actually sent a letter to the Hittite, or they were known as Hathi, um, to the Hittite king saying, hey, my husband is like dead. And I <laughs> would totally like you to send one of your sons so that I can marry him. And then he could be king of Egypt and all things good would happen. I love how Christy came. Because <laughs> we can't hang. It'd be the same for anybody's story. I know, I know, I know. Uh, so, so oh, anyway, just so you oh, all, we're about to run out take of it away. space. What? Oh, and it shut off. All mm -hmm. right. So, uh, uh, let me see. Ken's is still recording, I think. Yeah. I think they, Woo. They didn't hit the button again. Like I just. Uh, we might have a time limit, so let me see if I can start again. Okay. I got the filler, if not. Okay. Um, we're so got your filler good. radio. We're okay, so we're anyway, good. and actually, oh. she sends Cancel. out, you know, this letter, and she's like, hey, send me one of your sons. And so, 
uh, the Hittite king is like, uh, okay, you know, <laughs> because this is how you gain more lands, it's like, it's through marriage and stuff like that. So he sends his son, but unfortunately, there are some Egyptian mercenaries who are like, uh, no way, no how are we going to let some Hittite prince come in and be the king of Egypt? That is not how we roll at all. So they ambushed him on his way into Egypt, killed him, and, you know, Anakmoon moon it disappears from the annals of history. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, people die. That, you people know. die in history, everyone. And, you know, <laughs> Literally and everyone. So so after Tutankham died, and I took over afterwards, and then Horam Heb, and then both of those died. So you had three people who died without any um, sort of kin, any you know heirs to the throne. So um, no legal inheritors. Do, oh, what? No legal inheritors. No legal her- heirs. So <laughs> what they usually do even now is like a military. this great, you know, <laughs> and so year seven of his reign, probably 24 BC, um, he go he marches out to Kadesh because they were they lost, you know, they were they weren't sending the tribute anymore, and you tell them to send that tribute because right. You know, the Egyptians, they were, will come and they'll kick your ass. That's they just how it is. Because reasons, Because that's reasons, why. man. Because <laughs> reasons. <laughs> so, Ramses II set out with four garrisons. He had Fatai, he had Ra, he had Amun, and he had Seth. And he also had this fifth kind of hired mercenary groups called the uh, Nero. And he sent the Nerum to a place called Aleppo, which was a town that was important in being able to take over Kadesh, you know, mm-hmm. like being able to keep the area. So he sends them there and he has this choice when he goes, when he's going to Kadesh. He could go through a narrow valley or he could go all the way okay. around. They catch two Hittite spies. <laughs> and through various means of Do you want some or some convincing, yeah, I guess you could get some say, this. Uh, they managed to get out of them that uh, Mototawi the second, who was the Kittite king, was actually way far north, you know, and you know, right, because he had heard about the great Ramses and how, you know, how could he ever possibly go against the great Ramses, who is like the great guy, you know. <laughs> I know. I mean, it, it, almost sounds, it almost sounds like, you know, he, Ramses is strong. I am the greatest, and I will do the I am Ramses! I am Ramses! But, Love you know, me! Yeah, but, you know, he, he, well, he got lots of love. Like, you know, he, like, 100 kids. But anyway. <laughs> How many? 100. 100 kids? 100 kids. How's Boy. that? Uh, Bitches be great. Most of them, are, most of them are, were buried. It's, it's thought of at KB5 in the Valley of the Kings. Damn. Which was rediscovered in 1989 by Dr. Ken Weeks. Were they used to build structures? Jesus. And it's, Did it's he actually, have wives or were they just, just concubines? Oh, no, no. He had wives. Like, he had his great wife. He married some Hittite princesses at one point after the whole Kadesh thing ended. Um, How many wives did he have at one time? I don't think there's an official number. Oh, geez. not one that I know of. <laughs> I mean, there were only uh, three ways a woman could be identified as being the pharaoh, and that was just the great mother, the king, you know, the, the mom, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, daughter, daughter, and the god's wife. 
you know, those are the three things. So concubines really didn't have any sort of... Concubines. 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 Or the concubines. Stupid. Concubines. Zoom in. Who cares? Uh, they, <laughs> <laughs> so oh, that's they, why. Uh, so they, they didn't really have any sort of, like, title. So anyway, so Ramsey's thinking, <laughs> I am... Like the baddest ass of all time. They're running scared for me. I'm going to take a dash. No problem. So he said that, keep in mind, like these, each of these different garrisons had like 5,000 people. It takes a while to be able to transport that many people. And you can't do it all at once. You have to go in, you know, groups, you know, in, in waves, so to speak. And I need more alcohol. <laughs> I can just I can just envision like this was actually drunk history. Like you have a Ramsey who's being like, I need more concubines. <laughs> I need I need concubines. <laughs> yeah. He's just like saying Concubination. Like, concubines, concubines. I need bitches. <laughs> all, that's, all that's missing is the dog barking and me being like, who's that good girl? Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that it was one of my, that's, I love it when that happens. So, <laughs> so Ramses goes forward and guess what? What the Tawi is in a second. It's not he, far, far start away. Over. What? <laughs> Just his starter. Right so they have like 30 more seconds. Yeah, it's bad. We have anyway, one, we have one continuous video. You're out. You're out. still going, but it's almost. Your memory's full. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. I have, I have another camera. We have, we have or video, we have video yeah. on the tablet right here anyway. Video so that we'll, we'll leave. You guys are awesome. You have multiple streams of blackmail available to you. It's fine. <laughs> I can't wait to see this. <laughs> I can't so, wait for us to act it out and put it as an overlay. So, <laughs> so, so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I that I want to say. So Ramsey's like, hey, you know, he's all scared of me, and I'm just going to come up. I'm going to take it. It's just going to be no problem. I guess he was not far away. Mojitawi the second was not far away. He was actually just around the corner, and so Ramsey comes through. And they managed to block him in. Fighting happens, you know, the, um, one of the garrisons is almost completely, you know, taken out. Uh, Ramses is literally, like, losing, losing his shit. He's not, he's, like, people are going down. He is out there fighting because unlike today, if, if you were a pharaoh, your ass was out there and you were fighting and you were getting dirty and you were like stabbing people and really? you, oh yeah, Ramses even brought his lion with him because <laughs> to, this, <laughs> to this whole battle because that's like a thing. Because we're out. Look at my fucking cat. His, Some guy in a party suit. And it's like, <laughs> like, the thing is, it's, like, it's is great because on some of the temple walls, because he wrote about this campaign up and down Egypt. Like, there's stuff all over. It's the most well documented battle in history. And so he. So he puts them on a lot of his walls, him and his lion. <laughs> so he gets um, he gets cut off and um, manages they, they go they take their break because you know because you can't really fight at night you know it's really there's dark. no light there's anywhere. no light yeah you just, you really can't they're in the desert with no fucking street so, lamps <laughs> yeah yeah starlight for you bitch so. <laughs> And one thing also to keep in mind is that, because I, I haven't told you this yet, <laughs> is that Mojitawi had a lot more infantry, a lot more cavalry, you know, a lot more all of that than Ramses did. Like, Ramses had 20,000 people, and Mojitawi had easily another 10, 15 over that. Oh. Like, we're talking serious against odds. And he somehow managed to pull it through. And one of the biggest things that helped him was that group of the Nara that Niran, that he had sent to Aleppo. They were actually were able to come in and they were all able to work together and they 
saved the day and that the Ramses didn't need to die. Uh, this, of course, Ramses is gonna on all of these temple walls. I won. I am the victor. I, you know, there is none who is quite like me. I am strength of bull. That was one of his names and stuff like that. And um, and so, but what we really think happened is it was more of a tie, you know, because they at Kadesh could, you know, once they got into, once they got to Kadesh, you know. Maybe Kadesh wouldn't come out. You know, you can't really do a siege all that well. Yeah, you, and so eventually what happened or is the very first peace treaty anymore. in history. They're not drunk anymore. Oh, okay. What was that is what the Battle of Kadesh led to, was the very first peace treaty in history. Oh, really? Wow. In history? Yes. That, this is the first peace, peace treaty that we have written confirmation of. And this is why I love this, because... In this treaty, it said it says things like, if Ramses the Great, you know, is having problems, he will send for Hati, and Hati will um, come and help and defend. As if you know, I, th I heard hot tea. <laughs> 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 He will have chamomile and it will calm him the fuck down. So, you know, it'd be like, if anyone comes and bothers the hot tea, Ramses will come up and help. <laughs> so now it's just there. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> if anyone bothers the hot tea. If anyone bothers the Hittites, okay? We'll do, we'll do the Hittites. You know, the Ramses will come forward and he we'll will, like, kick dude. their ass. And if anyone is being a bother to Ramses, then he will, then Mutatawi will come and he will help kick their ass and they will get along great and hey you know what we're gonna send three princesses princesses to ramses to marry and of course because of course how many wives blah 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 we're years. bros blah like, blah seriously they kept he kept marrying and like in as much as they married and they kept dying off like his favorite um, so he'd fuck them to death <laughs> no his favorite his favorite wife though would have to be um Nefertari. She from whom the sun So could we see he had 50 plus wives? Easy. Really? Wow. Yeah, I <laughs> That's why I have like a hundred to have had over a hundred children. Wow. Yeah. The, the, temp, the, the tomb of KV5, which I'm so sad I never got a chance to go in, even though Kevin is too sick. Um, the, the tomb of KV5 is the largest tomb in Egypt. Yeah. <laughs> no, and it's all in the ground. And it's it's so cool because it's it comes it, it goes it goes it comes down like this and it spreads out to this um to this flat place that has all of these columns. Yeah. And off to the side they have these like little rooms which is where um people were, you know, the bodies were laid. And then not only do you have this level, then it comes down and you've got another level, like here. A totally yeah. different mustache. A whole totally yeah. different mustache <laughs> uh, for another. And, you know, and it, it's the same thing. You've got all of these columns. You've got oh. all of these side rooms. And then there's another layer after that. Like, this wow. thing is seriously huge. And it That's had, a lot of excavation. It, it was... It was for the children of Ramses the second. I mean, like some of his more independently successful kids, like uh, Merikata, who succeed, ended up succeeded him, which is his thirteenth son, Kaya Masa, who was a um, priest in Thebes and really like the first archaeologist, kind of, because he went around putting labels on ancient monuments. Like the pyramids were a thousand years old by the time Ramses came about. Yeah. Think about wow. that. The pyramids were a thousand years old by the time Ramses that, II dude, came about. Try, uh, if you were to put that in perspective for today's time, like what was we still so we cannot we cannot comprehend that. Like for them to have a culture that has lasted that long. Yeah. And to keep track of that culture and to continue on the same road. That's and ridiculous. That's ridiculous. A, even a thousand years later, they still knew 
who these tombs were for. Yeah, who these that, that's crazy. Were for. A, a, a thousand years before up. us, now we have no idea anything about We go like 200 us. years and like, that's old, man. It's so old. Okay, you want to know what's really sad? Spotify has a playlist that says oldies but goodies. 2005 to 2015. What? They have not. That's kidding ridiculous. You. Only I should at least be 30 you. years old. Come on. I can't. Oh my god. Oldies it should have to be like. 2005 to 2015. Sadly, oldies should qualify 80s music at this point, but yeah, nothing more recent than that. 19, 1950 I still think of oldies to 1975. I think that is what oldies are. Oldies need to be, well, here's the thing. Oldies need to move with the times. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Like thirty years ago, that's an. So I would. I think thirty years is an appropriate amount of time because that's yeah. what a generation and a half. Yeah. yeah. We we know. Be, we because twelve-year-olds having babies. Blah blah. blah. Okay. Do you want to still speak? No, I mean, if there's no point in doing it if you're not drunk. Like, oh no! <laughs> I mean, if you have something you're passionate about, just tell us. Well, no, it's not. I mean, it was something that I prepared specifically. Well, then do you want to get drunk again? <laughs> I have two right here. Take two say, shots it's and do it. Make me feel sick, so. Oh. Oh, really? No, it's okay. No, Somebody it's else can go. <sighs> so anyway, that anyway. is how the death of Toon Common led to the first piece of history. That's amazing. That was that's awesome. amazing. I did not know that, that was the first piece of duty of all time. And yes, that's, that's cool. First, first map and first for, map first registered or, known, or recorded rather. First piece of duty. Yeah. Very the earliest known. Map isn't from Egypt. It goes to the Wadi Hamamat, and it goes to gold. <laughs> the first map, that was, the first map we have is a treasure map. <laughs>